Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Steffi Drew, and today I'm coming at you with another Sumi Sierra haul. Sumi Sierra is an online clothing retailer where you can order custom tailored garments. Being six foot two, finding clothing that fits perfectly and fits my length and fits my body exactly as I would like is very difficult. So you can see why getting custom tailored clothing made is ideal for someone like myself. Now I've worked with Sumi Sierra in the past and I love absolutely everything that they offer. I actually saw a post on their Facebook profile the other day that I wanted to read because I think it encapsulates everything perfectly. Be proud to buy from an ethical, sustainable brand. Sumi Sierra produces garments one by one by hand without any extra stock and what is the best, our clothes are made to order. So we only produce what will actually be worn. I also think that being able to order custom tailored clothing from the comfort of your own home, especially right now while we're still in the, well, at least in Ontario, we're very in the middle of a pandemic. But while everyone's still trying to be safe, being able, able to order from home is a major plus. I've been working with Sumi Sarah for a while, and if you haven't seen my past videos, I'll make sure to link them all down below. Um, but in the past, I've shown you guys how to order a suit, how to order a trench coat, how to order a wool coat, how to order a blouse. So when they asked me about ordering another order to showcase some of their spring fabrics, I was more than willing and excited to do so. So in the past, everything that I've ordered, I've chosen myself and I've gone through and shown you the ordering process and how it works and how it looks. And that's kind of what we're doing today. But you're, if you're following me on Instagram, specifically on my tall fashion and style page at Tallest Mermaid, you probably saw that I posted a bit of a poll slash survey on my stories a couple weeks back. And it was specifically for this video. I was asking you, what you wanted to see in a Sumi Sierra suit. So I took all of those results and made my order so that the suit that we're gonna, I'm going to show you today uh, is what you guys requested. If you're not following me and you like this approach, make sure you follow me over on Instagram so that if we ever do any of those in the future uh, that you can participate and have a say. So I've already gone through and I've gone through the process. I've ordered everything, so I have it today so I can show you. But I'm gonna go back and show you exactly what options you have when you're ordering a suit and what that all looks like and exactly what you guys chose that we're going to be trying on today. It's been a while since we've ordered a Sumi Sarah suit, so I was very, very excited to do that. Uh, but this time I decided to get a blazer and get a matching skirt, Bermuda short, and pant to show you guys that you can get one blazer and be able to take it through seasons and with multiple different styles and kind of get a bunch of different looks, um, but essentially with one suit set, if that makes sense. Now before we dive into the suit portion of the video, uh, some of you may have noticed my awesome shirt and how well it is fitting me. Um, I'll actually show you. So this, it fits me so beautifully around the waist, so yes. This is a custom Sumi Sierra shirt. I um, added this to the cart so that I would have something to wear with the suit and show you guys. But this is also one of their new spring fabrics. So I'm gonna quickly go through and show you everything that I chose. I didn't include this in the poll. Um, I wanted to wait to see what you guys chose in terms of the suit and then add a shirt that I thought would look cute with it. So I'm gonna show you over here exactly what the whole process looks like, all the options that you have when you're choosing um, anything on the website, starting with the shirt. So, um, real quick, the fabrics that they have available are all visible right over here. And anything that's marked with new is obviously something that they're, they've newly introduced for spring. So I decided to choose Connor and it shows you all of the details of the fabric that you're choosing. So if there's certain fabrics that you prefer over others, you can see exactly what the fabric is that you're choosing. Not just the pattern, but what it's actually made of. Next, we're going to look at the style. So, I've pre-selected everything, but I chose a short sleeve shirt, as you can see. Um, standard sleeve details as opposed to a convertible sleeve that you can essentially roll and button up. We have a classic two button collar. Standard fastening buttons. I chose a slim fit. No breast pockets. 
um there's a bunch of styles if you were to get a pocket on your shirt there are many styles to choose from as you can see here um, I went without shoulder straps. I just didn't, I wanted it to be fairly simple. Um, and then a straight hemline. Now, there are accents that you can choose when it comes to most, uh, when it comes to the blazers and the shirts. And I decided to add a little bit to this one. Now you can kind of see it on here. Um, I chose a different fabric for the collar. So right here in custom collar. It does cost extra for some of these, but I think they're fun and I think it's worth it because you're getting something that is a little bit different than just kind of ordering it standard. So custom collar. My oh, I forgot to preset these. So I got an inner fabric that was a little bit different, and I got the inner fabric fabric to be the banyans. Um, and then I also changed the inner fabric of the cuff to be the same. As you can see, I have it rolled up there, so you can see that fabric right there. I just think it's a cute detail so that I often roll my cuffs up on most shirts, especially short sleeves, short sleeved ones. And I think that it's a cute detail just to make it look a little bit different. I didn't change anything else on here. I was thinking about getting a monogram, but the monogram goes literally right on the um, like breast of the shirt. And I thought that it would be a little bit, it would take away a little bit from the shirt or be a little distracting. So that's everything that I chose for the shirt. Nice and simple, add to cart. Okay, so next we're gonna dive into the blazer. I love styling and creating suits and I don't have enough excuses to wear them right now, which makes me really sad, especially because we're in a pandemic and I'm working from home. But that's not stopping me from adding them to my closet. Now everything when it comes to the suit are details that you guys chose. If there was anything in the poll um, that came up as a tie, I did make uh, an executive decision. But for the most part, everything that I'm choosing now are things that you guys wanted to see in a suit. So, first of all, I am very, very pleased that you guys chose Rogers, which is this fabric right here. There are so many amazing fabrics, especially when it comes to suits. Uh, but this one kind of gives me a little bit of like a Chanel vibe and I think that depending on how you style it It could have that aesthetic uh, and I also love like a baby blue suit. So this one is hundred percent wool It's a good year-round suit material when it comes to style and buttons. We chose the single breasted three buttons um, You all chose a long style suit with a cutaway hemline, center vent, slim fit, jacket lapels, lapel width, standard, style of lapel, notch, jacket pockets, double welted, chest pocket, no. Which that one surprised me. I love a chest, po chest pocket on a jacket, but you guys didn't want it. Sleeves, three buttons. That's all the options that I gave for you guys to choose, but I did go and add a couple accents just to jazz up the jacket a little bit, and I didn't give this, I didn't put these up as options for you to choose, um, but I'm super excited about what I chose. So I didn't add a shiny lapel, but I did add an internal lining, and this is one of my, I've said this before, this is one of my favorite options on this site, is getting custom linings for your jackets and for your uh, blazers. And so if you've seen my last couple videos, you will know how much I love this option. Uh, so I added a custom color. There are endless options when it comes to linings. And I think that depending on what, the reason I also didn't give this as an option was I wanted to choose something depending on what you guys chose for the overall suit fabric. And I was looking at a lot of these patterned ones because I love them so much, but I ended up going with an orange lining. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it, but I just love baby blue and orange together, so that is what we chose. I did add my monogram. I've put them on all of my blazers and all of my jackets so far. Uh, so my initials are on the inside pocket, which I will show you. I didn't change the neck lining, didn't add elbow patches to this one. Eventually, I'll get a blazer with elbow patches. I just have to get the right pattern. Um, and then I did change the buttons on this one. So I added a custom brass button to it 
and I think it'll look really good. So that is everything for the jacket. Now, moving on to the pants. So from here on out, we are using the same fabric because we wanna make one suit that we can use um, in multiple different seasons and create the same look, but styling it differently depending on the bottoms. Now, I believe that the fit was tied. I believe it was a three-way tie if I'm remembering correctly, but I decided to choose a wide leg pant because I feel like a good like high-waisted, which you guys, cho I'll show you in a bit, um, you chose high-waisted, but I think that a high-waisted pant with a wide leg is just such a look and it's so on trend right now. So I decided to go with the wide leg. I hope you don't hate me for choosing that. Um, and then for the rise, high on waist, pleats. You guys voted pleats. You voted to have a centered button with belt loops thankfully because I liked to have the option of a belt, high waistband, uh, vertical pocket style, two pockets on the back, and st uh, pocket style you chose was welted. Oh and last but not least, cuffs you guys chose no pant cuffs. Next item is the Bermuda short. Again we're working with the same fabric. You guys chose a slim Bermuda short, high on waist, again, which I appreciate. Pleated with a center button, with belt loops again. This one you guys chose a standard waistband, um, and then one pocket instead of two on the back, and no cuffs. And finally, the last item that we ordered, or that I ordered and you guys chose, was the matching skirt. So again, I have the same fabric, and when it comes to style, you guys chose a pencil skirt, which I understand because I feel like that's such a classic shape and fit when it comes to office wear, so a lot of you might be wondering how it looks and feels. If I would've chose this one, not gonna lie, I would've chosen flared because I feel like having, I just feel like a flared skirt is such a look, but um, you guys chose a pencil skirt that goes to the knee, um, high-waisted again, thank you, uh, vent on the back, standard fastening without belt loops, and a high waistband. In terms of front pockets, you chose the rounded pockets, and back pockets, you chose no pockets. So the pocket style on the back doesn't actually matter because there are no pockets on the back. Now once you've added everything to your cart, um, you'll notice that it doesn't ever ask you for sizes for anything. You go through and choose all of the styles and then at the very end there's a button that says measurements and checkout. You click that and you go through and literally give them your measurements so that they can make it all to fit you properly. If you don't know how to measure properly, uh, there are little videos that show you exactly where and how to measure so that the process is essentially like it's the easiest process you could have and depending on if your body changes or fluctuates you can maintain a profile so that if you want to reorder something or later on come back and get another pair of pants or another something to match what you already have or to add something new you can either use the profile that you had previously set but if your body fluctuates, you can always go through and change your measurements. So that is everything that I ordered and it all arrived. Everything arrived beautifully packaged. I'll show you right here. Um, they always come with like dust bags so that if you do want to store it or you want to travel or just to have, there is a dust bag that you can put it back into, um, which is just a nice added touch. And then it also, when it arrives, comes with a little card that tells you how to take care of it. It's a little thank you for ordering. And then also, if you made an order that does not fit you, it also comes with instructions on um, how to 
get that altered or fixed so there is a guarantee I believe it is 15 days from when you receive your order um, but if you let them know that things don't fit they will either cover the cost or remake the garment for you I haven't had to use them because I do have someone that can do that for me but the process is very easy and their customer service is also amazing so going through that process is outlined perfectly um, on their cart and then if you do have any questions if you can't find it on their website you can just send them a message and ask so now that we've gone through all of those details let's try everything on and see how it all looks now is this a look or what I don't know what it is about like a baby blue suit that I just think is so rad, but uh, yeah, this is a look. So let me just adjust my camera a little bit so I can come up closer and show you guys all the details. So I did add a little bit of space. There are shoulder pads in here. I did add a little bit of space on my shoulder because I really love that kind of like grandpa style jacket or blazer look going on so I knew that my jacket would be a little bit bigger and a little bit wider but I do think that the kind of bigger shoulder is also such a trend at the moment so even though this is custom tailored I did get it tailored a little bit larger if that makes sense um, but yeah this is what the jacket looks like show you the back you guys chose the three buttons on the side and these are the custom buttons that I chose to go with it along with the custom buttons right here three buttons single breast and what do we think about the inside tell me that is not unreal I just think it's such a fun little pop of color it's not something that is going to be super obvious when you're wearing the jacket but like a little flash or there's like a little movement or you have it open there's wind if you have it closed it's not like it's loud and it's crazy but if it opens it's kind of like what I just think it's so wicked I love 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 the color combo okay so quick disclaimer the very first time I ordered a suit when I got it back it was a little bit tight and I think this is because when I put my measurements in, I literally did the exact size of my waist, of my hips, and I didn't really leave any wiggle room. So obviously it was going to literally just fit. Everything did fit me, but it was a little bit tight. So this time around, I did want to leave a little bit of wiggle room. Not gonna lie, I think I was a little bit bloated that day. Didn't even think about it, didn't even notice, but it's a little big. That being said, I do think that it works when it comes to the pants because along with a little bit of a bigger jacket, the pants are kind of like this, like grandpa style pant. So this is the pant. And I paired it with my Chinese laundry shoes. I think that the snake skin with these pants looks absolutely badass. So this is what the pants look like, the pleats, the vertical pockets, a nice wide leg pant. I think overall with the slightly oversized jacket, that's what the back looks like. I think that this look is amazing, especially with this shoe. Are you kidding me? All right, and if you're going to bring this suit into summer, pairing it, with the Bermuda short is a super rad option. So, you guys chose the rounded pockets, belt loops, underneath the belt, you can, there's a single button, you guys chose the standard height, the back pocket, single back pocket, uh, pleats on the front, and the slim fit on the Bermuda short. One thing worth noting, I was a little bit unsure when I first made my purchase um, about the material because this material does say 100% wool and at first I was like, Sumi Sierra, what are you doing? We are going into spring and summer. Why are you releasing a material that is 100% wool? So it is going to be warm-ish, but this material is so thin. You are not getting a super thick jacket. So. Wearing this into the spring summer I think is completely reasonable and I think that the color and lightweight feel of this material and this suit overall is literally perfect for spring. Final look, 
is the blazer with the pencil skirt. Same vibe, completely different look. I think it's so cool how you can take one material and kind of one style but completely change it depending on what you're wearing with it, what bottoms you're wearing it, what shoes you're wearing with it. Obviously I kept my shoes the same for this entire video but you could change the entire look of your suit simply by changing your shoes into like a boot or like a high heel or stiletto. Uh, it would literally change everything. Now as previously mentioned, I and by no fault of Sumi Sierra, it was by my own personal error. Um, they are, the skirt is a little bit big here and I will be adjusting that, but I just pinned it so that you guys can see what it would look like. But yeah, what do you think? I think this is such like a classic, professional, put together look. And I don't know about you, but when I'm wearing like a matching suit, I feel unstoppable all right and that is everything that i have for you guys today it is no secret i absolutely love everything that sumi sarah has to offer and i love having the option of being able to custom tailor make my pantsuits i want to say a huge thank you to eugenie from sumi sarah for reaching out again uh, it's always such a pleasure working with you um, also just to let you guys know they do not pay me to say anything specific that being said i do have an affiliate code so if you would like to use my code blg tolmer 10 for 10 percent off your first purchase with sumi sarah for those of you who participate in my poll i want to also say a huge thank you for giving me your input on what to order when i was ordering this suit if you liked that approach please let me know down below and also hit that like button um if you like these videos also let me know i love working with sumi sarah and if there's anything specifically from them that you'd like to see put it down in the comments. If you're not already part of the fam, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you know when I upload next. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.